These are our chickens. This is Bubbles, the mama hen. This is Penny, Snowball. And then over there is Pebbles. Bubbles says hi. She's very friendly and tame and sweet. She's a beautiful color. So they are very happy in our coop here in our yard. And I will tell you more once I get back inside. It's actually starting to rain. So a little bit of story time. Our kids have wanted pets for a long time. I've always wanted chickens and I find it so funny that the practical pet for us actually in this season of life is chickens because we, I don't want a puppy right now. I love dogs and our kids would love that too, but I don't want to be potty training a puppy and training a puppy right now because I have a one year old and that's just a lot. <laughs> it's a lot to to incorporate into the family and also with um, having to take a dog out when we're living at our apartment, that would be a lot of up and down the stairs and going outside even in the middle of the night. And I would just prefer to focus when I'm indoors on my children and that's fine. Uh, I know a lot of families have loved incorporating a puppy during their kids' young years, but I also, the kids would love to have a cat and I am allergic to cats, not like horrifically allergic, but they definitely make me sneeze and it makes me really uncomfortable. And so a cat is a no, a puppy is a not yet, not, maybe not ever, we're not really sure. And the chickens are something so practical because they can go live at my in-laws when we are out of town because we're in a rural small town area and we can just send them off to my in-laws farm. And our kids have been absolutely loving the chickens. Our whole family has been loving the chickens and it's become such a fun hobby for us these past couple of weeks. And it all started with a Facebook marketplace purchase or a Facebook marketplace find. You know how sometimes you're scrolling through. I saw a chicken coop for sale and I got really excited and I thought, oh man, maybe we can make it work this summer. Maybe we this could be the year we get chickens. But then I realized it was quite late to be getting chicks and then trying to have them grow up in time to start producing eggs for us before we leave out of town, more like in January, whenever we um, live somewhere else. And so I thought, oh man, maybe it's too late. Maybe it's not meant to be. But then the woman I was communicating with about that chicken coop, she asked if we already had chickens. I said no, but Bjorn and I have actually had chickens in the past. We had like 30 in our living room before we had kids, 30 little chicks, and then they moved out to the farm. And so I told her we didn't have chickens. And then she said, I have another idea for you. Just let me know what you think. And she said she had an even smaller coop. It's not even that small, but she had a smaller coop for sale. And then she would also sell us her bantam, one of her, she had a lot of chickens. Uh, she would sell us a bantam hen with two hatchlings, two eggs that weren't actually, or they were chicks, sorry. They are chicks. Um, they had been hatched by her, incubated by her. She's a very good mother and um, they weren't actually hers, but they kind of saw her as their mother and they were all doing well. They are very tame and I just, I got so excited and we, you know, did the whole thing where I called City Hall, figured out ordinances, made sure that I knew all the rules and how far away a chicken coop would have to be from our neighbor's properties residential structure, stuff like that. So we figured that all out. It moved very quickly. During the kids' quiet time that day, I hopped in my husband's truck and drove to the farm a couple towns away and picked up Bubbles and her two chicks, which we have named Snowball and Pebbles. And so they came home. They spent, I think, at least one night in our kitchen in a um, in their little, their big tub of tote that the woman had given us. 
and she said that uh, Bubbles, the mother hen, would probably lay an egg every other day and she has been. Some days it's been every single day. I think she really likes these long summer days outside and yeah, it's been so much fun. Like, so much fun. So this little book is uh, Svea's board book called Busy Chickens. I love it because they are it rhymes and it has real photos so it says chicken cheeping chicken leaping and it's adorable so if you have a child a little one who loves chickens get them this busy chickens book it's really cute and the other chickens books i don't have because sophie took them for quiet time she is working on a chicken notebook with lots of facts about chickens so there's been like tons of learning about chickens in this household it's been a blast so we've really jumped wholeheartedly both feet into this new hobby. We only, oh, I didn't explain the other chick. We only had the bantam hen, the mother hen bubbles and the two chicks and they were about a month old or so. So obviously they're not ready to lay at least for, is it six to eight months? And so um, we may or may not see that as here in Minnesota, the days get shorter and darker over time, especially leading into fall and winter. But um, hopefully everyone will make it through the winter just beautifully. And then next year we can have more than like one egg every day or every other day. But that has been fun nonetheless. But we did that same day we got the chickens go to a local a hardware store you know those like tractor supply types of stores and they often have chicks for sale during certain times of the year and they they did have some chicks left and they were a little bit older so we got penny and penny is a an iso i don't know if i'm saying that right i think it's just an acronym iso brown hen hopefully hopefully penny is a girl so we can't have roosters in town here and um, the, if we get a rooster, the rooster will have to be either sold or sent out to the farm. But we wanted to just get another chick right then. So everything, I would say, escalated quickly. We have our sawdust bedding, we've got um, chicken feed, all the things that we need to keep them happy. They've been very happy in their coop. They've been putting themselves to bed. I just love how chickens, like, they go up their little ramp into their little roost at night. Even the babies can make it up the ramp just fine and it's really sweet to see. It's been so fun for the kids. We did have to put padlocks on our coop because we had some neighbor kids um, who we don't know who aren't really watched by their parents come over and they were messing around in our coop and almost let our chickens out so that was a not fun situation. But we have padlocks and locks on and a key now for the chicken coop and we have a little calendar hung in our hallway where I have the kids put an X on the days that Bubbles gives us an egg. So it's it's all been a very fun hobby. So all that to say we are now chicken owners. That is our new pet and it has been so much fun to spend time out with the chickens. It's actually been so good for all of us because instead of spending time inside we're always wanting to get outside and play with the chickens and hold them and again they're very very tame and Bubbles is the most um, sweet little and beautiful little hen that I have ever met and it's just been a lot of fun for everyone and yeah we're now chicken owners. I hope you enjoyed that super long explanation but it is really fun to talk about new hobbies and new interests that your family gets and hopefully the chickens will stay happy and healthy for a very long time. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel here, especially if you are a mom of littles, if you love homeschooling or homemaking content. I share all sorts of things like that. I plan on sharing more homeschooling content quite soon, hopefully. I've been making some curriculum decisions and doing lots of curriculum research and even some ordering and I'm really excited for what is to come. So again, thank you so much for being here. I hope you are having a wonderful day wherever you're at and I'll see you in my next one.